What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I'm going to show you guys my entire Iron Banner loot. Now last night I reached level 5 meaning I could buy that Timmer's Lash. Already brought the helmet at level 4. Timmer's Lash was the last thing I wanted this time around with the Iron Banner. So getting further into the video let's just take a look at what I have entirely Iron Banner loot wise. Okay starting with primary weapons you can see I've got the Silimus Wrath. I have the Timmer's Lash and I have the Galleon's Demise. My Silimus Wrath doesn't have too bad of mods to be honest even though it is a pretty bad auto rifle. I hate the high fire rate low impact auto rifles. Um, auto rifles have been nerfed now so these are even worse than they they once were, so I, I completely stay away from it. I've only got it because it's an iron banner weapon. I do want to collect them all. Um, on this, I do have counter balance, I have perfect balance, and I have glass half full. Quite decent mods, to be honest. If only if only auto rifles were buffed to make them a little better, I'd actually use this in PvP and PvE for that matter. Okay, moving on. Timmer's lash. Um, you guys probably would have saw my video yesterday. Uh, I rerolled this once, and I got this epic roll of mods on it. I can't be much more happier to be honest. I got Outlaw, Precision Kills with this weapon, Dramatically Increased Reload Speed. I have Field Scout which I actually wanted on this bad boy and I got Final Round. The last round in a magazine deals bonus damage. I think it takes a critical hit to about 120, 130 which is insane and knowing when this actually comes into place as well. I mean Luck in the Chamber is pretty good but at the end of the day with Luck in the Chamber you don't know where that bullet is that's going to cause considerable damage. Um, with final rounds you do and that's why I prefer final round. Okay moving on to my Galleon's Demise. With this bad boy I have Outlaw again precision kills with this weapon dramatically increased reload speed. I have Hammer Forged and I have Third Eye. Radar stays active while aiming down his weapon sights. I probably would have preferred explosive rounds here or field scout but because I, I think I wasted about 30 mods of light when I actually got this at the time and I didn't have that many I just stuck with this and I'm pretty happy to be honest I've still got high caliber rounds as well which makes it pretty beast. Okay next up we have my F Ruddy Spear. Now this is a sniper you guys probably would have saw me reroll on a video. I used about 30 mods of light on this one as well not too long ago. I wanted that shield double well I I wanted performance bonus, I didn't want performance bonus, I wanted double down, but I got performance bonus which kills this weapon, grant bonus reserve ammo. This works wonders in PvE, but it isn't too tough in PvP, it really ain't. I also got field scout and custom optics. I do actually find myself going with field scout now to be honest, even though I got final round, um, I just prefer field scout, I want more bullets in my magazine at the end of the day. But final round is great to have on this FOD spear, it really is. Uh, I would prefer to have double down than performance bonus but at the end of the day I've got what I've got it's too late to reroll now because the iron banner is gone uh, next up we have the foul winter's low which is also a sniper rifle basically um, with this I got this the last time the iron banner was around not this one that's just gone uh, with this I got knee pads I have hammer forged and I have crowd control yes you can have better mods on your foul winters than this but I still like this I mean I'd swap crowd control for rangefinder or shot package any day of the week but still crowd control isn't too bad um, knee pads I don't really slide using shotguns to be honest but people who do use shotguns and do slide would love this foul winters they really would for me though it does work it does it work it is like a sniper it drops people from such a distance it's unbelievable so I'm happy with it I really am okay next up we have uh, two Jordan's hammers and on the one I've had for quite a while now I should run you guys through its mods I have Rangefinder, yeah, probably would have gone with counterbalance or persistence here. We have perfect balance or field scout, and we have crowd control. I go with field scout because it gives you double the ammo. I mean, it takes it from 26 basically to 50, which is basically double. And I've got crowd control, <laughs> it just makes this weapon murderous, it really does. I mean, you just don't want to get anywhere, Jordan's Hammer, especially in PvP. You will just get mowed down, you really will. And then the other one I have, well, this is one I actually got in a drop from the Iron Banner this time around. I got Persistence. This weapon grows more accurate the longer it's fired. I'd like on my other one. I got Perfect Balance. I got Snapshot and I got Skip Rounds. I also got as well Surplus. Expect to find more ammo for this weapon. This is one for me I will use in uh, PvE. I've got one for PvP, which is pretty much perfect. I wanted one for PvE and this I didn't actually re-roll this. I got it and I thought, yeah, they're not too bad on mods for PvE. So I'm just going to keep it. 
and with that surplus as well does work wonders in pve so i may as well just have this bad boy i got perfect balance and persistence as well so yeah pve weapon here and we've got pvp one there uh, armors i have I got the helmet, which I basically just got um, not too long ago. Uh, I want as well. I want as well the gauntlets. The gauntlets are the only things I'm actually missing. The helmet was this time around. I thought the gauntlets were going to come with it, but it wasn't. It was a chest armors again. So I weren't really fussed about that. I've already got them from last time around. Hopefully next time though, we get the gauntlets. I really do. On my helmet, I got uh, increased melee attack speed and increased super energy gain from killing minions of darkness. There were other options there on a different helmet, but I went for this one. Um, on the chest armor, I have carry more ammo for shotguns and carry more ammo for scout rifles. Um, on the leg armors, I have uh, carry more ammo for auto rifles. So basically, got a mixture of the three. So I can't really complain. I got great rolls on all three of these. I mean, I have um, basically 60. 8% intellect, I have 79% discipline and I have 24% strength. I mean, I would probably up for 100% discipline if I could get it. I can by switching my armors with a raid armor and shit. Um, discipline to me, I don't really throw that many grenades. I just want my Fist of Havoc to come or my Special to come as fast as possible. And... Uh, and strength as well isn't much of a biggie to me, especially while I'm playing PvP, which is what my Titan is for. But guys, that is my complete Iron Banner loot I have got over all the times that Iron Banner has been here. Just missing them gauntlets now, which hopefully they bring it next time. Guys, tell me what Iron Banner loot you've got down below in that comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a like or do a Parishi at the support. Just got to level these bad boys up in time for the House of Wolves. So I can go to a light level 34. Full Iron Banner armor would be epic. Also, guys, later on today, there will be exclusive House of Wolves footage on my channel. So stay tuned for that. Again, thanks for stopping by as always. And peace out until next time. Peace.